proper attire. No belly buttons or baseball caps backwards, all right? Today's, in today's business, another thing that's important is to find out how that particular business is attired. There are some businesses that still are rather business formal. <laughs> Shirt tie, da 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 da. Others are casual business. But casual business does not mean uh, tight shorts and a sweatshirt, the shorts say Penn State across the backside. All right? That's not business casual. Slacks, shirt, sweater, or um, yeah, shirt, sweater. So know what it is first before you jump in making the assumption. The easy way to do it is always dress sort of, on your first call anyway, sort of business formally, suit, tie. Then you find out how they are attired for the business day. It used to be sometime only Friday was business casual. Now a lot of the companies are business casual all week. Some of them are moving in the other direction. Some of them are saying, the people just don't quite understand what we mean by business casual. When it first started, sir. You mean by like your company or the company that you're trying to sell to? Company you're trying to sell to. Make sure you know what their attire uh, is. But the easiest way to do that and not be embarrassed is not to go in business casual and you're coming into a situation where everybody has a coat and tie. You're better off to have a coat and tie going in in their business casual than the next time you go in, you go in business casual. And don't be embarrassed to ask. If you're going someplace for the first time and you have a contact there, you say, well, you know, what's your business attire in the office? Is it casual or is it, uh, you know, business formal? The guy says, yeah, we all wear coats and ties. Fine. So that's the way you go.